52 megacycles by authority of the Federal Communications Commission. A test program follows. statement at least that these technical problems are not insurmountable. Test, test, test. Right, so it should now be sound. Right, so hopefully now you can hear me this time. Uh, I only realised because um, I uh, watched uh, you guys uh, tell me there was no sound. So hopefully this is streaming okay. So welcome to Coat 6. This is our sixth uh, Coat tournament we've run. We started last September, so we've been going nearly a year now. Uh, we decided to move back to Twitch or our own Twitch channel uh, away from Facebook because that was what the general consensus was. Half our players seem not to want Facebook accounts, and as Twitch is the gaming channel of choice, here we are. Uh, thanks to Brett or Awful One Gaming for helping set this all up for me. Um, fortunately, he can't be here today because of family commitments, but he he and I just commentated the final two games in Coat 5. Uh, they will be on YouTube in a couple of days. Um, so thanks to Brett for that. Thanks to our players, and I, I'm proud to announce that Coat 5 was won by Sloppy Labwork USA. Um, Sloppy Labwork has been a team that's generally been the top performer since we began, but that was a Hong Kong team. Now the USA team is, is going through with the same power, uh, and it's great to see that though two completely different locations with the same name are having a similar set of results. But no, Sloppy Labwork USA, winners of Coat 5, well done. There's only a very small group of people there. And uh, we're thinking about maybe when we get to 10, if you get to 10 events, we'll maybe do a, a, a get the 10 winners through or nine winners because Team Mavericks won two um, together to see what we've got and see who the best teams are. But that's for the future. Um, as I say, the videos will be on YouTube shortly. Um, and go watch. Brett did some awesome commentary. I just kind of grunted at the right times as prompted. So, uh, and we want to keep doing this. And um, Throughout of Coach 6, we intend to do more commentary. And we, we, Brett and I would like to try and do one or two games a week before the live draw. Um, so if anyone would like to do a screen recording or like us to commentate one of their games, uh, please get in touch. Um, we don't want to do Brett's games because he'd like to record with seeing both hands. And obviously, if he's playing, he doesn't really want to see his opponent's hands. I think it's a good thing. Uh, I'm not playing uh, in this event. But if you want to have your game debated your game scrutinized or your game questioned or just give us some fodder for to have a conversation over it and to help teach everyone and learn um, to allow myself to learn more about the game please let us know we'll reach out to a few of you as well uh, and we just want to use it to help create more content and, and more drive and more discussion so the second thing is a few of you noticed the great intro music we have um, this was provided to us by one of our players, Karen. She has kindly donated us uh, this 51 second track. She is a composer by trade. Um, and so she wanted to give back to the community and this is what she's off to do. And given the fact we had the discussion about 24 hours ago, what she's done, some, well, it's amazing anyway, but the fact it's been done in 24 hours is really, really good. And we'll be hoping to see more of that in the future. That will be, be on probably all the videos we have going forward, as long as I remember. Uh, and we're, we're in discussion with her about other things we may do in the future and other ways we may help and how we can compensate her and everything to make it all, all fair. And it's great to see the community coming back to us and, and we're going to try and 
give back to her, uh, give us a couple of decks or something to thank her for her time. Because at the end of the day, this is all about the community. We want to bring the community together. We've got our artist who we've got paid work, has ended up getting paid work because of the work she's done for us, or at least we've thrown at her. And so we're supporting her as well. And Josie's from South, South America, all her great artistry, we couldn't be where we are without it. So moving forward to coat sits. Now, as I said, there's some apologies. You may notice I'm not in the normal place I am when I stream. Um, my uh, PC died um, last week, and uh, it's still not working. That's tomorrow's job. So I'm now streaming from a laptop with half the information I have in a different room where I fear the lights are going to randomly turn out again soon. Um, <clears throat> yes. Hey, muffins. It is sad. It has been a good two years desktop before it died. Um, so because of this, we haven't got the code directory up and running yet. We haven't got all the programming behind the scenes done either because, well, quite frankly, it's on the hard disk in the other room and I can't get to that. The code directory is coming up and we'll be working with Carl on that over the next few days. Um, so for the first round, we're gonna go old school. We'll be pasting the listings up into the chat. We traditionally don't release the decks for the first round, though I appreciate we did for the last event, but the decks are made available to everyone in the second round. Uh, verification is not going to be required until the top cuts, and I said multiple cuts. Um, and we'll be moving forward with this. Um, and as soon as my PC is back up and running, we'll start the coding in place. So we do the automatic recording of results of table generations and get all that stuff straight onto CKM. I could start again from scratch, but I was like halfway when this happened, which is somewhat tedious. So, coat six, unfortunately, we see a few less players than last time. We're down to just 246 of you, I believe. I think there's 82 teams. So, down from 96 teams, but that's still, quite frankly, a phenomenal number. And we have, it's not even from one part of the world. We, we have the most teams we've ever had from Asia Pacific. We've got, I think, seven teams this time from Hong Kong, Australia, and one that's two thirds from Singapore. We've got, Thanks, Kate. Um, uh, we have uh, 24 ish teams from the US. We have a team from Canada. We have two teams in Argentina, which I'll come on to in a second. We've got teams from all over Europe. We've lost our only guy for Africa a couple of months, a couple of events ago, but we will get hopefully an African team back on here. So we say we've got all six continents covered, but we'll work towards it. One other thing to let you guys be aware of is the Argentinian teams, because they haven't got mass mutation yet released for them, uh, we have bent the rule and we had opened up my collection of decks and Brett's collection of decks for these two teams to choose on just for mass mutation. This is simply because we wanted to keep them involved, we wanted to keep them on board, and it's not like they're saying, go and pick any mass mutation deck in the world. It's that here's our personal collections. Pick one you'd like to use. You can't pick the same one. And then Brett can't use that for his team. I'm not playing in this event, um, mainly because I want to focus on the admin side this time. And it, that takes off enough of my life. Uh, I'll probably come back for Coat 7, but I'm taking, I'm sitting this one out. We, we don't have Antarctica represented, guys. Uh, if we get Antarctica represented, we become six continents. If you think it's easier to get a team for Antarctica than Africa, go for it. I don't believe it will be. So we are going to be running a four-round Swiss. And we've divided the 82 teams into eight similar-sized groups. And then we will have probably two top 16 cuts. We will have a finals A, a finals B, and we are contemplating having a finals C, and we'll see what people want as we get there. Hell, if need be, we'll have a finals, well, we may even go as far as having a top 32 instead of a top 16. But at the moment, the plans for top 16, that's subject to change to see how everything goes. Um, we are going to be, if you want to qualify for the A final straight away, 
you must win your group. Then second and third place will join the playoffs. And so if you come second, you will play third place from a different group and so on. So the playoff will not be against the team inside your group. And then you'll go into the finals A. If you're in finals B, it's the loser of the playoff and the teams that come fourth. But this is still, because this we originally planned for 32, but we thought we'll have 90 odd teams when we planned for that. This is why we're looking at moving to 16 at the moment. Um, so yeah, so this is this is what we're current plan is. As I say, if we change this, you'll know next week if we change it. We're just still, this is a new format and we're just trying to see how it goes. So we have 80 teams, 82 teams, 246 players to go through now. I am now gonna apologize in advance for butchering people's names, butchering team names, butchering potentially country names. Um, and we're gonna go through what are the eight different groups. And we will put this image up straight after uh, this stream finishes or as soon as someone reminds me if I forget. So everyone who's not watching the stream can see. Because we've only got 19 of you watching of the 200 of. So if we want to start off, go. we're going to start with the Logos group. So the Logos group, and I'm just jumping to my page of notes. Uh, sorry, too many pages of notes. So the Logos group, the Logos group represents Asia Pacific, so all the teams in Asia Pacific, and we try to keep the groups geographically aligned as much as possible. There is a rest of the world group that a few people are in. So the Asia Pacific group is all the teams from Hong Kong, Singapore, and Australia together, plus Brett, who's being a ringer for the Singapore team, because they need one more player. So the, the Logos is all of Asia Pacific plus all for one gaming. And their teams are, and that does not look right. Oh, don't you just love it when your notes have gone wrong? Bollocks. Sorry, give me one second. My notes have got corrupted. So we start off with GFC03. GFC03, I think they've been in every event we've had, or nearly every event we've had from Australia. Uh, this is Stephen Murr. <clears throat> this is Stephen Murr, um, who is Nacho77. Nick Murr, who is Mua. And finally, Andrew Murr, who is uh, Mua03 on Discord. These guys come from nice, sunny Australia. Next, we have Skippy Time Rooms. Now, I believe this is Skippy Time Rooms, at least with that name, their first event. So skipping time rooms, skipping time rooms are, sorry, just need to go through my corrupted data list to find the right player names. Skippy times rooms is uh, Lorne, who goes by the name of Anno Spirit, Spir 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 uh, Klaus Occult, Occult, who's Occult, and finally Harrison Guest. Then next we have in this group of logos we have Hong Kong Team Fat Boys Hong Kong. Team Fat Boys Hong Kong are Team Fat Boys Hong Kong are I'm in the wrong page. Sorry, I've got my orders gone. Mark Chung, who apologizes for your first submission. I've no idea why this didn't work. Lou Allen is a name I definitely recognize recognize from a previous event. And a guy who I hope his name is Leo, because I've got three Chinese characters and I'm afraid I cannot read it. Um, these guys are one of our many Hong Kong teams this time round. Then we have Team Hong Kong Mavericks. Now, these this Team Mavericks have won two of the events come through recently. I assume this team is made up of uh, the traditional faces. So what we have here is Kong Young Chung, uh, who goes by Jim. We have Kai Hing Wong, who goes by Lonely. And we have, I don't have a first name, but J Cat is the Discord for their third player. Uh, next, we have Team Lab Work Hong Kong. Now, just to be clear, we have a Team Lab Work, a Team Sloppy Lab Work, and a second Team Sloppy Lab Work. So we've got to make sure you look at the right country. So Team Lab Work Hong Kong. These guys are Team Lab Work Hong Kong is uh, Ni Young, who goes by H37. Uh, Wan Chi Wu Wei, who goes by Gavin. And you have Chong Man, Chong Man Yu Jason, who goes by Serotonin. 
That is correct. Second, let me just delete the mistakes. Ignore them. And let me just try. So let me just see if I can unrectify the mistake I have made. Sorry for the dead air, but give me one second. And I think that is the wrong thing to copy. Sorry, everyone. Two seconds. Right, there we go. So, there we're looking. That's looking better. So, no, that's not looking better at all. <laughs> I hear it. Google Sheets is awful. How does anyone ever do anything with it? It does not filter data as you expect it would. Okay, let's just do what I was doing before and see how we cope. So, Team Lab at Hong Kong. Oh, and it's completely out of this. Uh, then we have Team Sloppy Lab at Hong Kong, which is uh, Kenneth Chu Yuan. We have William Lam, who goes by William Lam for God, and Andy Andy Ning for Andy Ming in uh, Discord for them. So. Team Lab Work, Team Sloppy Rubber, Team Mavericks, we've seen before. I'm recognizing some of the names and Team Fat Boys. Uh, we also then next have Team Wormhole. Now, again, we've got two Team Wormholes. We have Team Wormhole and Team Wormhole. We actually have three Team Wormholes. Um, the other two are American teams. So, Team Wormhole Hong Kong is Saxon Chung, who goes by Saxon, Anthony Wong, who goes by Anthony Boy God, and finally, Yu Sun Wu, who goes by Sun 544441. So I'm not sh I don't recognize your names, guys, but it's good to see you back. What's well, good? Thank you for joining. And then finally, we have Hypno Key Frogs. Hypno Key Frogs was a Singaporean and UK team. Um, this is the only multi-country team that's in a in a separate group. This was just to make numbers a little bit more balanced. The uh, Hypno Frog team is going to be is Calvin from Singapore and Sean from Singapore. Used to be Grista Kiga, but they've decided to change their name. Um, and now they are going to do be Hypno Key Frog, uh, just because I think Brett loves the uh, picture more than anything else. So uh, I'm glad to see you guys hate Sheets as much as I do. Uh, it's just a great temporary database. Um, so Hypno Key Frog, as I find it on the sodding list, is uh, Calvin, as I said, Sean and Brett, all for one gaming, all one and go. So only one of them has to work across time zones significantly, I think, which is Brett, who's got about a 12 hour difference. But the rest of them should find this a little bit easier than previous events. So moving on to the next um, event, it, next team is we're going to do Mars. Now, Mars is, just reminding myself, the French Spanish. Uh, and the extra Manchester team from Manchester, UK. So if one team has, what well, one area has submitted multiple teams, so for example, we have Manchester Mavericks, A, B, C, and D, I've tried to share it so that no two Manchester Mavericks in the same group. So because of that, we have a team that is primarily, sorry, a group that is primarily French. There is a, a total of 11 teams in this group. There is two Spanish, one Man from Manchester, UK, and the rest are French. So we have Keyforce Granada. These guys are one, I believe it was one or so came second in coat four, if I remember correctly. Keep me honest, guys. And I finally posted their prize out last week. That's on me. Uh, so Keyforce Granada is going to be uh, Rodrigo, um, who comes, who goes by Super Kango. We have Francisco Campos. Who goes from Campos White, and we have Jose Marie Melado, who goes by Jose MMB 97. Uh, great guys, did a live stream with them so they could see the AOA decks I had. They had one AOA deck that I was so jealous of, but I don't think they're playing it. But um, yeah, apart from that, they had two uh, not terrible decks, but they had one that was just look fun. Uh, next, we have from that group, and this is Mars, we have. Monkeys from France. Now, Monkeys, this is their third or fourth event. Um, I'm pretty sure. So this is, I don't have names here, but we have Topo, Typo Wa, we have Etin CL, and we have Dracos 12, or sorry, Dracos 121. Um, 
I might start asking the cities just to make this a little bit more interesting and butcher some more names. Uh, then we have uh, Les Poirs, or uh, Les Poirs, which is, I believe, a new, a, at least a new team name. But again, France again. So we have Esteban Garbel, who goes by Mentol. We have Maxime Desgranchon. So Maxime, the grand, of, of grand champion, who goes by Darling. And we have Miguel Gobella, who goes by Quata Poir, or Quata, Quata. Again, apologies for butchering this quite so badly. Um, I'm not looking at the chat, so if anything comes through, Kate will ping me on Discord and I'll get the alert. So, next we have from the Mars group, uh, Starship Looters. Again, love the name, a new team as far as I'm aware. So Starship Looters, they are consisting of uh, Frederick Tavik, um, who goes by Star Lutin. We have Ger Gerard George, who goes by JJ Le Master. And we have Jonathan uh, Fichon, who goes by John 116. Next in the Mars group, we have Baguette and Switch. This is, they've been here for a number of events. Great to see them back again. So Baguette and Switch, I should know who these are. It's Damien Fury or Lip Tops. We have uh, Thurbolt Balatin or Raziel, and then we have Sergei Siri or Orpheus. Great to see them all back again. Uh, next, we have Manchester Mavericks D. So this is obviously the non-French or Spanish team in this group, Manchester Mavericks D. Uh, Manchester Mavericks D consists of uh, the finest players of Manchester. So Tom Mortishier Smith, the giant. Uh, we have Retro Lord Khan or Retro Lord Khan, and we have Marcus, who goes by Apocalyptic. That's the Manchester Maverick D team who are in the Mars group. Then we come on to Seeker Needles. Seeker Needles again. These are, are quite frankly, I thought we had another day to register team, and they they get the award for. Uh, the, 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 I normally say for Jabba Grabber, but Jabba Grabber weren't the last team this time to re, uh, to register. So let me just pull up Seeker Needle stats. Seeker Needle are Seeker Noodles, sorry, are from France. You have Fakir, you have uh, Chavo Wizzle, and then you finally have a Dama Dama X. So next we have the Barcelona Marmute combined with Beer Forge, two great teams coming together. I'm expecting great things from you guys. So the Barcelona Marmutes, I guess, are from Barcelona. I didn't think Beer Forge were, but maybe they've just kept the names and uh, well, merged them together. So you have RQ, you have Mikey Ten, and then you've had Zose Seventy Nine. Uh, and then finally, we or not finally, so the forest defenders, and, and I will be honest, in Coke 5, it, it did make me very happy to see the forest defenders versus fire, fire, fire starters. Uh, it, it was an awesome pairing just to see the names and reading it out. So the forest defenders, these guys are uh, the forest defenders. Theodore, uh, who goes by Toto. We have Sebas, who goes by Sebas. And we have JFK, who goes by JFK06. Uh, next up, we have the Lama de Ombres, another French team we've seen before. Uh, I did know what it stood for, but I've now forgotten. So we have Lucy Monostone, we have Gold Goat, and we have Lillian Jean Brun, who goes by Alda. And then now, finally, in this group, we have the French Keys. The French Keys. Uh, and now I believe these guys have been here before, and there's some debate is do they have two S's at the end of their names? I'm assuming it's not a typo, so, and as they said, it haven't moaned at me, we'll keep it there. That's Axel Via, who's bot or not. We have Sebastian Ode or Ashitaka, and then finally we have Eddie Uderbert, who goes by Latsy. And that is the Mars group. So, So next we have this. Now we have when we have a group called this, we have to include the team called Can't Touch This as the first team. This wasn't an option. We we had to do this. So can't touch this. And of course, the order you're seeing in front is completely different than the order on my notes. Um, and I don't know if I dare rearrange it. 
No, I don't dare rearrange it. Um, so this is the Poland and United Kingdom. So this is the Poland group with over, and sorry, the Poland, Portugal, and Latvia group with overflows from the United Kingdom and Germany. So there are four Polish teams, one Latvian team, one Portuguese team, one German team, and four UK teams in this group. So it's the Latvian, Polish, Portuguese team with four of the five other teams in, uh, of the 11. So first of all, we have the Smodra Electricity. Now this is Smodra Electricity's third event. They uh, get, came runner up, or their secondary team came runner up in the last event. You can see the li live stream. Um, they're from Poland. And I'm just going back through my notes. So they are Gary Gorski, uh, who goes by uh, Gary Gonowski. We have Morius, who goes by Costa, Costa. And we have uh, Marcin, who goes by Tora, Tora. Again, sorry in advance for butchering these quite so badly. Uh, next, we have. Uh, Hamburg Atlanteans won. Now, uh, Hamburg Atlanteans won. Uh, these guys, I believe, were a high finisher in Coke 5. Uh, Hamburg Atlanteans won. This Lorenzo 99. It is Jack, sorry, Julia Neckman, my mistake, uh, who's key to Hamburg. And then we finally have Finchmaster. Uh, these guys are Hamburg Atlanteans won. Next, we have Brain Games LV. Now, Brain Games LV, either one or came runners up in, I want to say, Coke 2. Uh, great guys. I think they've been here every time. Every time I'm worried they're not going to come back, and they're either the first team to register or the last team to register. They were third to last this time. Um, but it's great to see these guys back. Um, great players. Great guys to have a chat with. Uh, so Brain Games LV. Brain Games LV are from Latvia. That's Janice Grunt. We have Oscar Waylands or Keyfrogger, and Rainis Butans, who's uh, re Rainiges. Next, we have uh, Team Azul Today. So, Team Azul Today, I don't need to look this one up. I know this one. Team Azul Today is is my team. Well, not I'm not playing in it, but it's a team I'm part of. Uh, this these guys were the lowest finishing um, UK team. Um, in Coke 5, but they had fun and they've come back and they wanted to come back and I didn't have to blackmail them. So welcome back, Gun. And so this is led by IDK Man, who goes by IDK Man. This is Ivana, who's YMV in, in Discord. And this is Damien, who goes by Damien in Discord. Guys, it's great to see you back. Just to be clear, whenever I play these three, all of them completely kick my ass. I'm just shocked that on Coke they haven't been able to be up there at the top. So Let's hope you got better decks and better luck this time, guys. And I've just seen your first opponent, and you may need it. Um, then we come on to London Urchins, Dark Urchins. Now, I'm just trying to remember, because as always, we have two London Urchins teams, and it's great they've not just called each other one and two. The downside is I can never remember. So this is Nikki Britton Field, Stefan Bar Barian, who kicked my ass in the prime last November, which I'm sure you've heard me mention multiple times, and Adam J. Philpop. <laughs> Adam J. Philpop, again, great supporter of the event. As fact, they all are, all London Urchins are guys, and nearly all the community is, but Adam in particular always shouts out for us, always wants to get involved. Uh, and he and Stuart Green, who's the captain of the other team, other lunch, so they're great guys to be around, and it's great to see them back again. And then we have Manchester Mavericks B. Manchester Mavericks B, again, because of the four teams, we've split them. Um, over. So let's go to the right tab. Manchester Mavericks B is Angie Kong, Rick Owen, and finally Thomas Greenwood or Iron Bear Matt. Um, Manchester Mavericks B, they've always been a high performing team apart from Coke 5, but they, the, the Manchester, I think they won Coke 2, uh, their B team. It was the same, about the same time of the Prime event that we had. Um, awesome guys. It was great to meet them at the GC last February, um, and I say I look forward to playing you guys soon. Uh, also, they play in one of my favourite game stores I've been to in the world, Fanboy 3, uh, and I hope they're doing great with COVID going on and everything. Um, next, we have 
Portuguese generosity, who, fun fact, when they had to put in their country, their country was also Portuguese generosity. We decided to change that to Portugal because it was a little bit more helpful for us. Um, these guys are, I believe it's their first event. Um, I don't recognize the names, at least. Um, these are Frederico Fiera, who's Masherman, who's Masherman Smasham. Awesome name, to be honest. Hugo, who goes by Hugo or Jesterhead. And then finally, we have Chamanico, who goes by Chamanico. Uh, it's a great, always great to see more guys playing, always great to see or more people playing, always great to see more countries represented. And then we have the uh, the, the, the group's namesake, Can't Touch This. Uh, can't Touch This. <laughs> can't Touch This was do, 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 made up of. And these guys, I think this is a third event. Can't touch this. I don't know which one. Was it. I completely forgot which can't touch this. It's the urchins, right? Can't touch this. The urchins, not to be convinced with London urchins, is, is Francisca Spikowski or Frenel. We have Robert Cesari or Ruja. And we have Dominic. And I'm not going to try and crucify that surname. I am terribly sorry. Who goes by Alligator Cosmic. Alligator Cosmicity Papiez, Papiez, okay. I am sorry. He also goes by Tyco, which I wish I read first. <laughs> Next we have in the disc group is we have SES Sharks. Now SES is, as I said last time, is a sofa company in the UK. They specialized in uh, sofas, carpets, uh, and anything for your soft furnishings for your health. Um, so why they are sponsoring two teams in here, we're not sure. Um, maybe it's still Steel City Steelers or something like that it should stand for, but SES Sharks. Now there's two SES Sharks again. Um, SES Sharks are where the Crazy Killer Machine guys have ended up. So let's see. I can't remember if they're in Sharks or Steelers, so let's find out now. So SES Sharks, we have... This is not the... Uh, Crazy Killing Machine team. This is Tom Langrish. This is Peter Broughton. Broughton, and we have Marcus Honeybone. These guys have been Sheffield in the UK, lovely part of the world. If you want to have a unusual holiday, uh, and uh, again, great players, great to see them. Um, Alligator Space Pope. Did you say that's that guy's name translated to? That is awesome. How did you come up with the name Alligator Space Pope? <laughs> now we come on to t t the last two teams. Both are Polish. We have Team Row. So Team Row is going to be from Poland. I believe they're in the last event, but don't hold me to that. So we have Jack Gula or Dizak. We have Simon. And again, I'm not going to crucify your surname. So uh, Cosma Q. And we have Marek Picor, Picor who goes by uh, Sila. Like, uh, then, and I think the last team we have is we have Reskowi, who's again from Poland. Uh, from Futurama. I can't believe I missed that. Oh, Wolf on Keyforge. Great to see you back here, man. Like my guys in Kitna Keyforge. <laughs> so, um, these guys, I think this may be their first event, but I may be wrong. They have Virtual Wolfie. They have uh, Orkium. And they have Naden. And these guys are also Poland, and that, that completes the uh, third house. Now we're going to move on to Shadows. Now, Shadows, if I remember correctly, is the German uh, and UK, oh, so UK with the German and Polish overflow. So this is primarily UK teams, and most of these we've seen before. So we'll start with BBB. So BBB uh, were in the last event, and I was absolutely shocked to realize they came from the UK because I had no idea halfway through the event because I thought I knew most of the UK teams. This is Batnu, this is Dave Morgan Bradley, and this is Joe Ruffino. Um, I don't know whereabouts in the UK they're from or anything. Um, I really am going to put cities on this time as well as countries just to find a bit more of a breakdown of where people are, or at least states if you're in the US. Um, Next, we have SCS Dealers. So this is Simon and Carl from Crazy Killer Machine, I believe. Let me just double check that. SCS Dealers. Uh, Simon Roadhouse, or Fabled Alpaca, James Hewitt, Zombie Hedgehog, and Carl Woodruff, CKM Carl. Great to see you guys back. 
Simon and Carl, thanks for all the support you've done, especially the website. Looking forward to working with you this week to get in this up to done for Coat 6. Just kind of wish we had, as always, there was more days in the week. So next we have Bootcamp X Team 2. So this is the second Bootcamp team from Germany. Uh, these guys, Bootcamp X, have were, I think they were high finisher recently. Uh, but Team 2 is Mayhel. Uh, they have Nut Angle and they have Eli Latino Russo as their three team members. After that, we have London Urchins Imperial Traitors. Now, these guys, um, quite frankly, London Urchins will always have a, a place in my heart just because the first person I went to say, Do you think this is a good idea? was Stuart Green, their captain. And I went to Stuart Green in the Madrid Vault Tour going, I think I did an online team event. Do you think it will work? He went, Yeah, sure, we'll play. And, and here we are, <laughs> nearly 12 months on. Lockdown may have helped a little. So Stuart Green is captaining your slogans as ever. He's being the uh, World's Collide player. We have Ollie Cornish, who's back again for the AOA deck. And we have Tom Fletcher, Mr. Awesome Possum. Great to see you guys back. You guys will always, always have space for you guys and then the other player uh, as we play. Then we have Team Archimedes. Now, Team Archimedes, this is Kate or Lil Muffins, as, she, as she's currently watching the chat. Kate is the winner and her team are the winners of the very first coat event we ran uh they that was just a plain knockout running over multiple weeks with 30 teams and i went wow we've got nearly 100 people um it, and it was awesome it was absolutely awesome to see that go and it was great to see these guys win and great players great to have them involved so team archimedes just to make sure i got this right they have kate who goes by muffins you have liam who goes by russ clark and then you have seb who goes by seb now it's easy. Um, great to see you guys back again. I know you missed a couple, but I, I still want to see you back at the top, guys. Come on. Next, we have the Nottingham Anomalies. Now, I believe the Nottingham Anomalies are a new team we have. So we have Alex Berry, who goes by Berry. We have Alex Wilson, who goes by Wilson. I see a pattern here. And we have Jessica Sophie Miller, who goes by Jessica Sophie. I somehow feel, Jessica, you need to change your name to Alex because then you've got the Alex team, which would be awesome. We nearly had the Adam team once, but Adam wouldn't let me say that was their team name. But no, it's great to have you guys here. I hope you have fun. Uh, even though it's a slightly unusual format this time, I, I hope you still enjoy yourself. Uh, Screech Bon Um, another team that surprised me to be English. I don't know why I thought these guys were from the Philippines originally. But anyway, uh, Matt Tuck. Uh, we have David Lark uh, or Baron Von Fabulous, and we have Callum Young or Callum SLZ. Again, great to see you guys back again. Team Exalted B. Now, this 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 is the team of two mods and a prime winner. Uh, we have Tom, the Void, seasoned professional. We have John or Imagi. Again, seasoned professional. Both two mods. Both the guys who keep me honest, and they are mods for two reasons: one, because they're fair; two, because they answer my questions; and three, they argue back with me when I make a stupid decision before I make it public. Also, after I've made it public. But great guys. Glad they're on board. Glad they're helping. They're, they're, they're pretty quiet in the background on the whole. John less so. Great. And finally, they have Kieran or Boldy, uh, our our prime winner, who. Um, we are very proud to have as the only team that's Ultra Prime Women that I'm aware of. But it was great to see you there, Matt. See you guys back again as well. And I can't wait to see you in person. I'm hoping we'll see you in a couple of weeks when our local store reopens um, and uh, we can get some face to face time again. But uh, we'll see what happens. Then we come on to the second Can't Touch Disc. Can't Touch Disc, the Purges. Can't Touch Disc. Last time I only submitted two teams, I believe. This time they've done three. The cards, these are the guys from Poland. They've got Kizeka, uh, Houdini, Houdini, and Digu. Great to see you guys. If you're returning, great to have you back. If you're new, great to see you. Uh, and finally, we have, if you hadn't guessed it, the Manchester Mavericks A. Uh, Manchester Mavericks A, again, from the Manchester team. I should know this one off the top of my head. We have George Jones. Matt Hill, second place in the UK uh, GC, uh, and Vince Turner. Now, I know I appreciate I'm, I'm calling out more guys, some guys more than others. These are the guys I've met. These are the guys I know. On the whole, these are the guys I, I know won't mind being called out. Um, but if you are a prime winner or a GC winner, and I don't mention that, let me know. Let me know who do we have playing. Let's just try and build on the successes we have. So if you can run up in the prime, awesome. Well done. Let, 
let us know. We'll do a shout out. So, and that I believe completes the shadows group. Just and take a thirty seconds to check. There's no questions on that. Screen bomb. Um, screen bomb. Um, no. Um. Lower case. We need accents in the English language. <laughs> okay. Uh, Team Archimedes, hurrah. Stuart's the nicest, the most genuine person in the community. I think I agree with you there, Brett. Um, and it's unusual not to see him in the stream, actually. Uh, okay, so we're going to continue now. I'm going to regret not getting myself a glass of water before I started this. So next up on my list is we have Saurian. Now, Saurian is not wrong on my spreadsheet, the rest of Europe with the overflow from Poland and Manchester to make sure we spread the teams out as well. So if you're a European team, your team hasn't been called out, you should be on this list unless you're a multinational team. So we start with Cela uh, Farino from Italy. These guys are in Coke 5. Um, I'm going to quickly pull up their details. So these are Matteo Pereschi, uh, we have Nicolò Stenbock, and we have Danielle Fratelli. Great to have you guys back. And then we have Hamburg Atlantins 2 from Germany. So Hamburg Atlantins 2 from Germany. These guys are Niklas Pascht or Schwitz. We have uh, Arne Kramer or Irene Daly, 86, and Kevin Voss. I keep seeing these numbers at the end of people's games. Is that the year you were born? Because I'm feeling really old. And my wife was questioning how many people here had kids and was being told off by their other half for spending too much time on playing tournaments. But uh, I'm sure that's just me and no one else. Um, then we have Soul Snatchers from Greece, another late entry team. And this is their second or third event. Uh, it's, uh, it's great to see some Greece play Greek players. I mean, I, I keep meaning to get out to Greece for work and then... Uh, Greece and Israel cancelled because of the uh, COVID, unfortunately. So, but the Soul Snatchers, these guys are made up of uh, Panagotis. I'm not going to try who's PV. We have Costas Vitalis, who goes Fabrigas. And then we have uh, Lies Pelvildis, who goes by Diagotis. Got it? Diagotis? Sorry, Diagotsu. It's on my round. And then next we have No Kind of Fans in Austria 1. Now, as ever, No Kind of Fans in Austria have submitted two teams. These are still one of my favorite team names. Uh, their second team is in the multi-country list. So let's go through this team. So No Kind of Fans in Austria 1 is a Roger Schrubber, who goes by Roger Schrubber. We have Viper. We have Aquero. And that is the team. Great to see the team back again. Then we have the final Polish team, can't touch this, the Wolves. So just in case anyone's wondering, these teams were all pretty much randomly assigned when I was split, splitting the teams out. Uh, we have Antoni Maslanka, who goes by Sorius Antonius. Then we have, and I'm, you're going to tell me off again, Katarzyna, Katarzyna Stefniak. Who goes, not tonight. I'm going to see if I get an abuse. Am I getting abuse? The stream's a little far behind, so maybe I'm not going to abuse me. Brett, you do mention your two prime wings often enough. You still owe me keys. I don't remember why, but I'm sure you do. And then we have Nikolaj Siwot Swar. Uh, and that is the, uh, all the Polish teams now accounted for. Then we come to Bootcamp X from Germany. So Bootcamp X. Uh, Bootcamp X from Germany. Again, great to see them back. Uh, Bootcamp X is Flock Renew, who goes by Tuvok. Uh, Mat Matiji Boli, who goes by Maze51. And Bene Roman, who goes by Bene R. Or Dick Roland. Wasn't that one of the Romans? Um, then we have Furry Muscles. Great to have you guys back again as well. So Furry Muscles is uh, Angelo Morelli. I thought I recognized the name. We have uh, KCCMT, who goes by CMT. And we have La Rosa, La Ro Lazaroa, who goes by Lowe's, 
lol as uh, as there were. You guys are just trying to troll me, I swear at this point. Um Lol as Zora. <laughs> uh next we have auto cannons from Italy. So auto cannons are Michele Mike uh, Michelangelo Picconi, who goes by Super Flash. We have Gio Giovanni Ray, who goes by Evandro, and then we have Filipino Abba, Abe Abba, who goes by Filippo Abba. Uh, great to see all kinds about trailer park boys. This is a reference to something that I really don't have a clue what it is. They sent me screenshots. I assume it's a TV program. That's a comedy, a sitcom. I have no idea what it is. Please let me know in the chat what it is. Oh, not tonight. I got your name right. Awesome. It's a show in America. Awesome. Right. I need to watch more shite TV, perhaps. Or not. Uh, we'll see. So, Trailer Park Boys. These guys are from Greece again. Uh, here we go. So, we have Fotis uh, Fotis Morosis, or Ima. We have Mantis Christos, who goes by Mythicus, Mythicus. And Nikitas Nandris, who goes by Mr. Poop. Uh, catchy name, Mr. Boop. Um, and then we have Manchester Mavericks C. Finally, the final Manchester Mavericks team. Luckily, there was enough European teams to spread you guys around. So Manchester Mavericks C. These are the guy. This is the team I played in the last event. We have Toby or Carpet uh, Fellerson, Ollie Hodge or Pie Eater, and Adam Hie or I Am Happy. And then finally, we have the uh, winner of Coke 3, who, when I first saw this team, thought they were taking the piss and weren't going to turn up and then went on to win the event. Not finished with your mum. Or NFWYM, I may, as I may pronounce it if my kids are around. So not finished with your mum from Italy. Uh, this is Crystal's team. Uh, they had a break after their win. They wanted to uh, be undefeated champions for a little bit, and now they've decided their time has come and uh, reclaim their title. Uh, and they've got Damio de Pospri. They've got Diego Gloria de Pospri. And then they have Andrea Spadoni, who's also known as Crystal. Uh, it was great chatting to you at the end of Coke 3. I'm glad to see you guys back. I'm not so sure about the name still, but it's inside, it, it's inside the bounds of the gray area. Um, and that completes, I believe, all the European teams. So we've got three groups left. We have Sanctum and Untamed, which is the USA, and we have Star Alliance, which is the rest of the world. So I will start with Sanctum, which will help them on the right live. So the USA is the only one to put in, I think, 24 teams, though it is the largest country of the ones we've got represented, I believe. Uh, we know Russia or China. Um, and so we split them into two groups pretty much randomly, again, spreading the teams out where we could. And some of the USA team ended up in the overflow. Apologies. So, Unicorn Squad. Unicorn Squad were definitely seen in the last event. And last time they had a Canadian in them. I didn't actually check to see. If, uh, so, I love the first team, the first American team I read out. Their first player is Canadian which would have put them in a different group. But so Rick Dury, who's a mod with us, you and I need to have words, <laughs> but I will do that another time. Or Rickster. We have Scroner, and we have Brett Roth, who's Rainbow Wolf. Um, next we have uh, OG Midwest Mavericks. Now, once again, we had two teams submitted called Midwest Mavericks. Was well, the first time it's been Midwest Mavericks, and they were both American teams. And Brett suddenly pointed this out to me about half past six this evening. I thought, oh, sugary. So we reached out to them, and so one of them is OG Midwest Mavericks, and the other one is Midwest Mavericks. So OG, so I assume these guys are the originals, but they were late to submit. Midwest Mavericks is Mark Andrew Pagnakas. Then we have Nathan Reddick, or Teddy Ninja, and we have Blake Dillman, or Dilly. And my lights are going to come out here. And I'm hoping my wife can hear me to sort the lights out. So next we have Baywitch. Now, Baywitch have gone from having a couple of te three teams to one team, which is a shame, but that's life. Um, Baywitch, uh, these guys are all impressive players. They completely kicked my ass. My wife saw me. 
Um, and she's now going to be amazing at the glass of water or Pepsi <laughs> or beer. Um, Eric Berg or v, v. Holland. We have Joseph Cantona or Cast Revere. Or we have I'm a Julia, Julie Mercier. And I think Julie is the one who won the Premier League qualifier at the weekend. I'm hoping Breck can confirm if that's true or not. I will uh, find out in the, well, of course, the, sl the, the lag here is the issue as always. Thank you, dear. Yep, Julie won the uh, North American one. Awesome. Thanks, Jake. So I now feel refreshed with my uh, water to keep going for the last few teams. Um, then we have Repout. Everyone knows Repout. Repout is going to be made up this time, as we know, a larger team. Brooks Clark, who's Brooks Clark. We have Kevin Serino, who goes by Golani. And finally, we have Dave Corrido, who goes by Dave C. Uh, next up, we have ABR Smoky Bears. Uh, if anyone knows what ABR stands for, happy to be told. The so ABR Smoky Bears is uh, this, this. Uh, Rise and finally Pete Hardy or Brobna Brob 89. Ah, Julie's amazing prayer from Kate. That's high praise. So next we have New York City. New York City, this is their third or fourth event. Great to see them back. If you hadn't guessed, they're from New York. Um, Great players. Just want to pull up this again. Uh, they are Andrew Marshall or Rip Red. They are Jeffrey Hampenheim or Geo Hamp. And we have Noah Salloway or Virindi. Virindi. So next up we have the final Swindle Alpha. The final Swindle Alpha is... Where the hell has that gone on my list? There. So it is Young Gumbo, whose uh, first Facebook name is NA. Uh, the player's Discord is Young Gumbo. And then we have Shruti Venkatesh, who goes by Shruti. And finally, we have Karen. Karen is the lady who did the awesome intro music we have. And so we hope to be working with her on some other stuff going forward with some other ideas we've got. And if anyone else has the talent or likes to donate something or get some exposure, uh, either artistry, illustration, graphic design, web mastery. Anyone who's got some time who wants to just give us a hand, give us a shout what you, what, what you do and what you can offer. I mean, this is not a requirement by any means, but every little helps. And we want to keep this being as much a community field and community event as possible. And we'll talk more about that shortly. Next, we have uh, Team Wormhole, Bot Butson. So this is the non-Hong Kong one. This is the one of the USA team wormholes. Uh, team wormhole bot button is uh, Landon Dickens or Lando Cal, Jim Braden or Jay Bray, or and Kevin Hogg, Seven Hogg. Now I don't remember a team wormhole before from the US, so it's great to see you guys. I'm assuming you're new or at least just with a new name. Uh, then we have Sanctimonious. Sanctimonious. Awesome name uh, is Brendan Hansen or Burnside, Dan Johnson or Danny Sun, and Alex Slotnick, the Nick of Slots. Makes sense. Good pun on your own name. And finally, without with team, which needs very little instruction, Team Saz LP. Team Saz LP uh, are obviously a large team. They're made of Z Smith or Big Z uh, or Zarathustra. We have Dan Smith or Dr. Sheep. And we have Nathan Westlake or Corey Than. Uh, and I've been sort of chatting with Dan about trying to get onto his podcast at some point in the future. And so great guys, great players. We've had a, one time where Team Saz dropped out before the end, but uh, we are high hopes for them this time to see how far they can go. Uh, and that takes us to the end of the first US organization. And then we go to the Untamed. Uh... Abra is the Cali is the Californian team. Ah, Oof, that's a good team. Yep, <clears throat> there's lots of good teams here. It's going to be interesting. So now we move on to Untamed. Untamed or USA Two is we start with the champions of Coke Five, Sloppy Lab Work USA. Um, I these guys. I so say you can watch the replay, the commentation we did just before this session. 
Um, great players, great decks, great fun to watch. This is Will Weaver or Funky Monkey Monk, Justin Russell or JT Russell, and Sebastian Russell or SDR. Um, the only comment to say is yes, I appended USA on your name because the other team lab work, sloppy lab work, and team lab work joined this time. So next we have Gaming Gear Birmingham. Gaming Gear Birmingham. They've been on a number of events. Uh, I've not had dealt with them much, and I don't believe I played them unfortunately. So we have Rosalind, uh, who goes by Quits Quitzel Quota. We have Will Courtney, who goes by Now in Stereo, and we have Matt Cull, the the Cull one. I think I've seen you guys on Discord, actually. Uh, next, we have Jabbergrammer. And once again, the team, well, not once again, but finally, for the first time in a while, they are not the team joining the day after the draw. So, Ryan, it's great to have you guys back again. Um, always great fun to play with you guys. Um, you're always a great laugh. You've always kicked my ass whenever we play. Um, so we have Ryan Ward back again. Uh, we have NA does not use Facebook, didn't realize what's required. Mr. Branchburg. Uh, so I don't know who your AOA player is, but Ryan, I hope you know I've got his phone number. Um, and then finally, uh, we have Orangum Man or a Meat Robot. He's the world's glide player. Great to see you guys back again. So then we move on to Team Wormhole Technician. So Team Wormhole Technician is Daniel Mercer. Uh, or D Mercer, David Hors not uh, who goes by D Horse, and Marcus Schaefer, who goes by Fleshkinade Flesh Flesh on Discord. Um, next, we have Control the Leak. I'm guessing this might be connected to the fledgling Welshman from the last time, the leak being the national vegetable of Wales, but yet this is an American team. So I'm assuming this is a Welsh American team. Uh, and can, either way, Control the Leak is an awesome name. So this is Garrett Hotsey, or Shugu, Michael Weefel, or Z Zoku, uh, and then It's Clinton as the final MM player. The final Swindle Omega. The final Swindle Omega is here. Simon Peter Codrington, who's Dark Saeed, uh, Div Shaku, and finally Woodrow S. Great to see you guys back. I've been told you're all academics or in the academic lifestyle. Uh, you're great, friendly people from who we play with, and it's great to see you guys back again. Uh, Rocket Boots S. Now, Rocket Boots S is an, an old hand at this. Jeffrey Punks or Jeffrey PP. Uh, Jake Friedman or Jake Freed. And finally, Scott Jackson or Scott Tuba. The Wookalars. It's all again awesome to see the Wookalars back again. Uh, I can't remember if this is your second or third or maybe fourth. Aaron Magnus or Aaron Three, uh, Stuart Riley or Stumbler, and John Miller or which is take take four one one. Uh, then we have the to the Tubular Time Hogs, so another new team. Uh, tubular Time Hogs, Mike Boncelli or Mike Funny, uh, Jupiter. So I don't think they're that new team or Jupiter K Keyforge Premier League. And Brandon Kennedy or Kennedy or Medax. So I don't think you're a new team, but I think you're a new name. Prepared to be wrong. And then we have Niffle Dis Disobedience, another new team, or at least a new name. Niffle Disobedience is made up of Christian King or K R N I Chrissy, uh, Corey Joss or Vermont Gamer, or Andy Palmer, Andy P. And Team Weekend, another new name, is or Ali, uh, yours truly, and JFZ Ziegler. So great to see you guys here. And now we move on to the last group and final group. Once I check, any questions? Oh, you the Welsh. The team I accuse of being Welsh is not actually Welsh. My mistake. The ancient bear republic, yeah, kind of that makes sense. So, moving on to the uh star alliance team. So, the star alliance team is literally everyone I haven't mentioned. So, all the multiple country teams, apart from the Singapore UK team, all of the Argentinian teams, some American teams, and the Canadian teams. 
it's and yeah, it's been an experience. Oh, I see Brett, you you leaked out what it was early. <laughs> um you and I will have words. So anyway, back to uh the list itself. So this is the final group. I'm in the wrong tab. And then we have Star Alliance. We start with Argentine team, and you guys have promised to tell me how to pronounce this. Ocardovicado from Argentina. This is I'm 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 fairly sure this is their third event of me failing to say their team name. Uh, no matter how many times I beg them to tell me, they have Totti, uh, Jesti, and Matthias Infant or Matthias Chai or Fufajita. Um. Next, we have no kind of function Austria 2. This is Germany, Italy, Canada. Germany, Italy, Canada. So I'm guessing uh, this will start with Christoph, but I am guessing that one. So it's it's Roger Schrober. Oh, no, sorry, wrong one. It's Alessandro or Magician of Chaos. Christoph Trodek. I say Christoph, great guy, one of the main uh, chaperones for UA and Joni or Ezonex. How's that engine X? Um, then we have CR7 Ghost Horts, who are Canada and Portugal. So CR7 Ghost Horts, I think this is the third event as well. So we have Philippe Gonclaves or J. Philippe. J. Philippe. We have Blake Powell or Boulevard Paper Fight. Or, and we have Daniel Busto or Cap, Cap and Kane. Um, then we have Timotei's Tomatillos. Did I get it right this time, guys? From the USA. Um, these guys are definitely here in the last event. They were slowly over the course of multiple weeks teaching me how to pronounce their names, which I'm sure I've now straight away forgotten. So let me just go to the right point on the list. So, so it's Timotillo's Tomatols. Tomatolos. Timotillo's Tomatolos. Who's Caitlin uh, Kionida, who's Poptimus Lime. We have Chris Wilner, who's Seawillum. And Tim Knieder, who's Tim Kim. Next, we have La Forge Latina, uh, another Argentinian team. It's great to see these guys back. Oh, no, so these are new guys, sorry. La Forge Latina. Uh, these are Jacos Barros, who goes by Jacos Barros. We have Fran Pereira, who goes by F94P. And we have Mario Perez, who goes by Shopee. Next, we have Grand Earth Alliance. That's just for these guys need much of an introduction. Uh, Grand Earth Alliance are a, a, a team spanning the globe, thus, called, thus the name Grand Earth Alliance. They are covering Israel, US, Canada. So they have Aurora, uh, Ugluk, and Justice Blind. Great to see you guys back again. Um, and you gave top four last time. Let's see, let's see how you're going to do this time. Uh, Midwest Mavericks, the the, uh, the first Mr. Ed Mavericks, but apparently not the original Midwest, Midwest Mavericks to sign up for this event. So the Midwest Mavericks are Matt Watson, uh, Varg Varghast. We have Paul Roberts or Isomo, and we have Robert M. Reigns or Fitzcooch. Next we have uh, Allied Archons again, and I'm sorry Matt for taking the piss last week because you went to the mountains and your team failed to communicate this very well. So we've got Matt Wilson or Vast. No, that's the wrong one. Sorry, that's the last team. The Allied Archons. Uh, Matt Whalem or Keyforge Alchemist. The Key Tempo and Roman Mailer or Count Zero. Uh, then we had the Ganymede Archivists. The Ganymede Archivists is the, the only pure Canada team we have. So Canada is representing at least four other teams, even if one team doesn't admit it. Uh, the Ganymede Archivist. Now, I believe this is their first event, but I'm more than happy to be wrong. So the Ganymede Archivists are Tony Wu, Brian Wong, and finally, Cinder Chen. So do we have two Brian's, or is that the Brian that's in Hong Kong? Do we have two Brian Wongs in this tournament, I wonder? Because we have a mod called Brian Wong, who's in Hong Kong. And don't tell me we managed to get a Hong Kong guy in a Canadian team. But okay, we'll find out. Uh, King to Chen.
I'm now absolutely paranoid that this has got completely corrupted. Right, and then finally, we have Coast to Coast. Coast to Coast were put in, uh, apologies with them, they were put into this group to balance everything out a little bit. They are randomly selected. Now, Coast to Coast have been around for a few events. Todd Williamson, Oceanside, Archon, Alex Weisberg or AW Mountains, and Dan Wellsberg or D. D Burgle. The reason I know these guys is very simply, I, I think it was Coat 3 or Coat 4, I arranged our matchup against them. We sat down, me and the captain sat down, we chatted, we arranged our dates, and then he pointed out, but you're not supposed to be playing me this week, you're playing someone else. And I completely misread my own pairings. So, awesome guys, we had a great laugh over that. It was a long week. So, that completes the introduction. That is all the teams playing. Uh, and it's going to be good to see what comes out of this. So, we've got 20 of you here. So, I am just going to request my wife to come in to turn the lights back on again. And then we're going to talk about a couple of things. So, we are using Discord as the primary communication this time. So, let me quickly share my screen and show you the this is how we recommend you communicate with uh your <clears throat> of course i'm on a single display here so it's a bit harder so now when you're looking for your for your opponent you can very easily just do at and then type your opponent's name so we're going to go at team exalted now we're going to do it this way hypno nope not that one sorry let's do this again hip no key frogs uh, are you there? And hopefully, Brett is watching this, and as a member of Hypno Key Frogs, he will get an alert. So we have every team that is registered is able is now listed on here, and I maybe the last team may not yet be registered, but I think Brett said he's gone through them all now, and so we should be able to see um, exactly what you have and let you communicate with each other very very easily. That is the dream, at least. Let's see what happens. So any problems, let us know. Um, we also have added a form, and we'll put a link to this form in the group chat, to say that if you're having problems communicating with your opponents, just so we can have it on record and we don't miss a PM as we've done before. Oh, awesome, Brett, you saw it. Um, let us know, um, just so we can have it on record. And we, we have a very simple policy. If you let us know by Friday, we will help chase up, and we will be lenient to the team that lets us know. If you uh, let us know Monday morning, it's a little late for us to do anything there. Uh, on the whole, the first of that time we really had an issue was Coat 5. We've never really had an issue before Coat 5, uh, but we'll keep it going. Secondly, we have a list of rules. Now, Brett has put them in a really obvious place, which means I can't find them. I think they're in the Coat 6. Uh, so I think I think they are pinned in here. They are. They will be pinned in here shortly. Right, please. Um, and this shows the rules for the event. So coat six is going to be. Uh, we have the rules all documented as requested. We have important changes. So there is now an hour time limit for a game. Uh, and yes, it's not great that we have time limits, but we need to have. Uh, something and we need a way of doing it. Um, uh, so we'll come and see what the right way of handling this is. And we're sticking with an hour. Yes, we'd love to have a system where it's turn based, but we could not come up with a way of saying how many turns is the right number. And what if someone is taking the piss and being and breaking the holy wall of don't be an asshole by just being long? And we, we don't have time in our lives to donate two, three hours to a game. So we came to the conclusion of extending games to be an hour. Uh, so, yep, yeah, and Muffin, you come on to the next point. You ask me to explain how the top cut's working. So whether we do a top 32 or a top 16, this is literally what the admin team will be debating this week. I wanted to, to see how many teams registered before we made up a final decision. At this moment in time, it is planned to be a top 16. 
and then suddenly we had a balloon of entries in at the end of today, uh, this morning even. So I need to work out, do we now move to a top 32? Either way, the, the top half of whether it's 16 or 32 will come from the top players. So if it's a top 16 cut, it will be the winner of every group will automatically qualify for finals A. So that puts the first eight there. The second and third teams from each group will have a playoff, and it it will be the teams will will not play off against the team in the same group. So the second player from Sanctum will play the third player from Mars or something like that. So we'll mix them up, and the winner goes through to the top. The loser goes to the finals B, the top cup B. And then we will probably then have a playoff for the second seat in the finals B as well. And if we do top 16, we will probably have three top cuts. If we do top 32, obviously we'll only have two top cuts. And let's say, and this is what we'll be discussing as mods this week, and we will tell you the finalized answer on the stream next week. Um, hey, is that clear enough? Or muffins, is that clear enough for you? And I don't know what the lag is right now. No. Okay. <laughs> if you win, you go through. If you come top of your group, you go through. If you come second or third in your group, you have a playoff to see if you, and the winner of the playoff goes through. Is that? There is two. So top cut A is the top players of each group. Top cut B is the second ranking of players from each group. So this means that we're going to have, once we get to the end of the Swiss round, we are still going to have either 32 or 64 teams in fighting off in two different leagues or two different divisions in the knockout phases. And the third, so the first automatically goes through. The second and third will have a playoff. The winner of the playoff goes to top cut A. The loser of the playoff goes to top cut B. Um, and I will draw pretty pictures next week to assist with this. So everyone has a better idea. How's that sound for a plan, guys? Because it's not going to impact the first week, I'm fairly sure. Awesome. Right, guys. Um, that's all we need to talk about today. Uh, Carl, um, I'll be talking to you tomorrow or Wednesday about getting all the code directories set up. I was, um, and we'll work out the best way of doing that. Uh, we'll hopefully have the automated uh, results gathering so we can uh, quickly do lead tables and everything this week, but hardware allowing. Um, and finally, thank you everyone for coming back. Thank you everyone for playing. Thank you everyone for being an awesome community. This game, though we have lots of good players here, though we have lots of top players playing, this game is all about inclusion and bringing people together and allowing people to play games who can't either because of COVID or family commitments or just because of location, I'll get to regular games. Um, and, and that's the key thing here. Um, and so we're trying a new format just to keep it fresh. So the two things I haven't told you yet, which I should probably uh, do before we finish off. Firstly, in the opening round, AOA decks will play AOA decks. Mass Mutation decks will play Worlds Collide decks. That is, AOA decks will play AOA decks. Mass Mutation decks will play Worlds Collide decks. And yes, in case you're wondering, that also means Worlds Collide will play Mass Mutation. It's both ways. So we'll get this published formally. And I will publish the pairings directly to Discord for each group in the relevant point for each group, just because. I've been talking for an hour and a quarter, and well, sorry, two and a quarter hours now, and I'm starting to suffer. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Good luck, everyone. Stay safe, and uh, let us know how you do. Any problems, reach out to myself or any of the admin teams using the admin on Discord or the form that we'll link you to. Uh, and any questions, let us know. Good luck. Have fun. That's an order. <laughs>